Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. Hey, Gutbox here. So, Golden Tickets. We don't have any confirmation that they're going to come this year, but hopefully they do. We got a Golden Ticket animation from Mutt Leaks. Um, I'm not going to show it. You know, I want to try to avoid the spoilers. I'll see it when I see it. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be, but they do have something prepped in the game. Hopefully they do. And, and really the golden tickets this year, what's going to be happening, and you saw some, you know, images of them from last year, is I would assume something similar. Now, like I said, no confirmation. But basically, the ability archetypes, you can change one for each player. So you really, and I'm going to go through the best ones to make. And uh, obviously, you know, you can choose whatever player you want, but of course you want to max it out. So if anybody has, if anybody pulls them, of course, let me know and I can help you out, max out your players. It's none of your player choices should be criticized. Obviously the community is going to criticize it, but you won't see any of that from me. But I will criticize the failings of making it as good as it can be, uh, like we did last year. So be safe, seek expert opinion, and some are better than others. So... I will say, you know, I feel like we don't, you know, shout ourselves out enough here in the den. We like last year, if you guys were here, I remember, basically we we talked to the one of the uh, you know, producers of my ultimate team and asked them how many likes to get uh, golden tickets back in 20 because they had been gone from the game and 20,000 and we got 20 21,000 likes and and it worked. It did it. We did it. So I don't know. We don't really talk enough about our successes here, but, you know, then you're fucking strong. I swore. At least it's after 30 seconds, so only only uh, marginally demonetized. But anyways, you're strong. Don't you forget about it. It's awesome. That's exciting. So, there it is. One of the best golden tickets to make. Let's get into it without any more circle jerking. Okay, so, you cannot make kicker, punters, or O-linemen. That's just a golden ticket rule. You can't do any of those positions. But like what I'm thinking, and generally this is a good thought, is here are the here are the things you should think when you're looking for one. Out of position cards are always fun, including those ultimate legend out of positions, right? You want somebody either thick, tall. Mobile quarterbacks are always popular, so you probably want to do one of those because somebody's gonna make a mobile quarterback or multiple. We see those every year. Um, tall, make sure the tall like DBs, linebackers. But you know, since Lurkers only one AP now, it's it's more usable now than it was. Uh, wide receivers, tight ends, the height on those guys too. Also, heavy running backs, the thickness, and also a thickness for not only um, running backs. And we'll go through. Let's let's just go through it right now, right? Running backs, because we also want linebackers too, because hit power and fumbles, depending on uh, like the land, the, the weight also helps out their impact too. So we really want to go, and we'll talk about like we'll take a look at all the weight spots that we want to look through. So like maybe not necessarily halfbacks, but like Jerome Bettis is the thickest in the game. Followed up a little bit later by Derrick Henry, who's about nine pounds lighter. So Bettis would not be a bad golden ticket. But overall, what I really want to look at is the fullback spot, Quinn Nelson, because you can put him at halfback, right? If you're going to Quinn Nelson golden ticket, I say do it. 329, Patrick Ricard at 311, and it's too thin, right? We don't want that. We want Quinn Nelson out of position. Maybe, maybe uh, it would be better for Ricard because he's 81 speed versus 73, but. Golden tickets, hopefully they'll boost them up regardless. That, I think, would be a very cool golden ticket. Somebody thick, and maybe that actually be awful for the game. That actually might be really bad for the game of Madden, having guys that are this heavy at that position. Otherwise, you know, just go with the Jerome Bettis type if you want the heavy but a little bit faster for that spot. Otherwise, also you want to look at thickness, not just for that running back and halfback, uh, fullback halfback spot, for the linebackers. The linebackers with thickness, that also makes the hit sticks more powerful. Somebody like... Jason Pierre-Paul, but the problem is he's a little slow, 83 speed on a 94, so you might not get a lot of boost there, but you're really looking at somebody like Rashawn Gary, 277, 84 speed on an 80 overall, he got up to 89 speed on a, a 89 overall, so they might, the Rashawn Gary might be a great golden ticket just for the thickness, that people can maybe user him, um, and then use that 277 pounds to really lay the smack down, but you know, if you're okay not doing, if you want to do more of like a middle linebacker type, maybe you don't want to do somebody, because he's also nice because he's tall, right, 6'5", so he's heavy and tall, but if you want to go to somebody more towards like the middle linebacker, so it's more natural to use him in a middle linebacker spot, Adelius Thomas, he's only 6'2", so maybe you want to go somebody thick and tall, I know Junior Seau is tall, 6'3", oh, not tall, 6'3", 255, otherwise the greatest linebackers are people... Um, six McKinney's 260 at 6'4. That's pretty nice. 
But otherwise, linebackers, you really want to kind of look at height too. Height is super important on defense uh, in coverage. So you kind of look at there, sort by height descending, and then you go with the tallest guy. So like the tallest one, Anthony Nelson, if you're a Bucks theme team fan. Otherwise, the Stork, Ten Hendricks, 6'7", at linebacker would be an amazing user. Hendricks is awesome. Anthony Nelson, well, I just talked about Anthony Nelson. That's just another one of his cards. Gronk's a little little lower. Um, the problem with Gronk, I remember his golden ticket a couple years back was a little slow. So you're going to give up a little bit of speed for these things. But like a lot of these golden tickets, especially with the speed boost this year, it really shouldn't be as big of a deal as it was a few years ago. We got like guys in like the low to mid-90s speed. This year, you can boost that baby up to like 98, 99, especially on theme teams. So it's a lot better. I think Edmonds would be a very nice golden ticket too at linebacker. But of course... We don't care about linebackers nearly as much as secondary players. But the problem with secondary players is that a lot of these guys are basically golden tickets. A lot of cards that are coming out nowadays, those 98s, 97 overalls, already have like 99 speed with everything. So basically you're looking at like height, right? Pat Watkins would be a nice changeup. Like we always get a free safety Megatron. That's just something we see every year. Uh, Mike Evans cornerback. We get actually corner instead of a Mike Evans safety that we got like a few years ago. So Simmons, I don't know. I expect Simmons to get another card. So I don't really know if he'd be a great uh, golden ticket. Carl Banks would be a phenomenal one with his like block shed. Look at that, 94 hit power on him right now with top end zone man coverage. You wouldn't have to boost those. Just boost uh, Carl Banks overall uh, with the golden ticket. And then uh, he's basically already there. Maybe boost up his spec catch, but I don't know. I don't even know what you do, right? His catching attributes, and that's really all you need on a, on a golden ticket Carl Banks because he's already got the hit power that's going to get naturally boosted and all these things right here man coverage zone coverage i wouldn't boost press but i guess you could i mean i wouldn't be against boosting boosting press in case you want to play him at cornerback uh because then he would uh, be a great in every single scheme so yeah height in the secondary is awesome we haven't even got the theme teams yet and we'll, we'll get to that in a second bit otherwise height at wide receiver is very nice too carmichael i think definitely needs a golden ticket i expect him to get an ultimate legend but six foot eight just, just make it now, right? Just make the Carmichael golden ticket right now. I mean, that has to be done this year. We need a Carmichael. Last time Carmichael was in the game, we didn't get any golden tickets, if I recall correctly. I think that was the one year we may have missed. Either people didn't make it or he, we didn't have golden tickets that year. I don't remember, but we haven't got one of those. Otherwise, tight end, uh, Villanueva. I, I'll talk about the Steelers theme team and their lack of tight ends here in a second. Villanueva at 6'9", Gentry at 6'8". And then we got like Toilolo, you could also do it at 6'8 if you're more of a fan of the Giants. I, I don't know if these things will get power up, so you, maybe he'll get the Falcons chem too. Uh, last year, I think they, they didn't go into power ups, but you could uh, put other team chems on them. I might be a mistake right there. But yeah, tall tight ends are really nice too, especially somebody like tall and thick. Villanueva would be an amazing golden ticket at 325, 6'9. I mean, that's insane, right? right? Like, that's crazy. 325, yeah, he would be an absolute beast. So. He's on my short list of uh, tight ends or, or golden tickets to make personally for the Steelers theme team, uh, which we'll look at in a second. Otherwise, mobile quarterbacks, like I said, are always popular. Um, what else? So height, weight, um, uh, the thickness of running backs. So your theme team's weakness, also Taiwan. Don't ever forget about doing Taiwan there, number one. You could also do guys that have a funny name like D-Virgin. Uh, a meme player like Trace McSorley. Don't ever think, no, don't think about those. Trace McSorley, a part of the, uh, um, you know, TikTok meme community. He, went, he blew up pretty big there. Uh, we can't do Will Clapp, sadly, because he's an offensive lineman. Obviously, if you do your favorite player, that's okay, too. Uh, but the Steelers theme team, right? Like, obviously, if we make Villanueva a tight end, you can do Zach Gentry here to make him the 99 again, then use him at left tackle. Otherwise, 6'9", 325, tight end. Yes, please. And then just we'll find out another tackle there. And then obviously you got to get another tackle there for Feller too. Uh, because the rest of the theme team's okay. You know, Mike Vick will probably get an ultimate legend here. So we don't need to make a golden ticket of him. Um, I guess I won't complain if people do. But it is what it is. I, mean, I think Palomalu is going to get an ultimate legend. He needs a new card ASAP. He should have got one a little bit ago. But maybe the, maybe soon. Minka hopefully gets another card this year. But, you know, he's you know amazing current day player. So we might get the Devante Adams treatment and they just forget about him. Jack Ham, one of the greatest linebackers of all time. You know, even if you make a Jack Ham, sure, it's not like that great of a quote unquote golden ticket. He's only 6'1, but guess what? If he's your favorite player, as uh, you know, he's on my short list too, because guess what? It's Jack freaking Ham, man. I got a lot of good memories about this guy, the way he played in 15, and uh, they really disrespected the stats here, so maybe I gotta feel like I gotta fix him myself. 
Otherwise, hopefully they do his Ultimate Legends okay, because they really did a bad job in his Campus Heroes card. Um, you can make, obviously, if James Harrison's your favorite there, too. You cannot make guys like Drew Brees that retired. Shaz needs a new card, but, you know, these are the Ham, Shaz, I feel like those will get new cards, so I don't need to make them. All right, so the DBs are also a little bit of a weak spot, and maybe I don't want to make somebody like 6'2", Justin Lane. Height in the DB core is really nice. So 6'2", Golden Ticket, to improve the theme team's defensive core, I, I'm here for it, right? I'm totally 100% here for it. Justin Lane might not be a good choice. And I could go through each theme team to talk about this, but I won't. I just want to do the Steelers. That is an example of perfectly fine Golden Tickets to make. So these are all the options, I think, overall, that you want to kind of look into, right? Guys with funny proportions that are like over proportion, either height, weight, um, guys, your theme team, your favorite players, uh, and then like quarter, uh, mobile quarterbacks. But I, I don't think you have to do one. I think somebody's going to do a Lamar. Somebody's going to do a Vic. And the quarterbacks are really going to be the most powerful part of the Golden Ticket promo um, because the the archetypes are going to be so special on them because you'll be able to have an improviser quarterback. You'll be able to get an escape artist quarterback. Either you're going to scrambler thing. You'll be able to go like a, a field general archetype spot for hot, hot route master. Gunslinger, you'll get, be able to get to two AP because you'll take a gunslinger slot on them. So like quarterbacks are going to be made. I, I would expect if they do like, I don't know, 20 golden tickets, five of them will be quarterbacks uh, just because of, you know, their power level and people really love quarterbacks in this game. And, and so like, that's what it is. If you want to be one of them, definitely be one of them. Make the Michael Vick golden ticket. That we get every year. Make the free safety Megatron golden ticket that we get every year. Uh, but uh, that's my thoughts. I generally, you know, I'm fine with whatever people choose. I just want you guys to maximize it the best way possible. And uh, let me know if you guys need any help maximizing your golden ticket. If, you pull one, if they do the program. But uh, there you go. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments who you are going to get for your golden ticket. But let's hope we don't have any issues with statting golden tickets again next year peace